Okay, good morning everybody, it's Mike. Thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. Uh, you ever wonder what I wonder sometimes? Why are some agents killing it? Like really doing well? And others really struggle. You know, they say that 87% of all new licensees won't be in the business in 24 months. And I just wonder why some people, some agents, get out of the gate strong and others struggle, why some surge ahead in their career while others don't. And when I think about that, I think, you know, there's an old saying that says, success leaves clues. I agree with that. So let's take a look for a second at our top five agents. Okay, let's just take a look and see if we can see any clues that are there. Uh, that would be Bob Clarkson, Rip Pruitt, Lisa Lewis, Leanne Maxwell, and Casey Sears. What do they all have in common? Well, they're all men or they're all women. No, no, pretty good mixture there. Um, they're all young or they're all old. No, pretty good mixture of age groups there. Um, they're all highly experienced. No, no, it's all over the place. Really, uh, most of them really haven't been in real estate for all that long. Uh, well, maybe they're just smarter than everybody else. <laughs> no, no, not that, not that. See, they're men, they're women, they're younger, they're older. They've been in the business for a while. They haven't been in the business for a while. Some of them are really bright. Some of them, uh, well, we'll move on. Uh, it's not any of those things. Um, well, what is it? Well, I think it's three or four things. I think they're worth observing. Uh, number one, they all, all five of them, have a very defined target audience. Well, it's all the same. If I knew what their target audience is, then I should do that. No, their target audiences are all over the place. Uh, matter of fact, none of them are the same. None of the five are doing what one of the others is doing too. They're all doing something different, uh, but they're all doing something. They all have a very defined specialty, a very defined target, and that's their focus. That's my first observation all five of them. Isn't that interesting? Not just some of them are doing that. No, all five of our top five have a very defined target audience. They can tell you who it is without thinking about it. Very defined. Number two, uh, they're all in regular coaching sessions. If not every week, every other week, a very regular schedule. They're one-on-one -on -one talking about their issues and problems. Most of it business, some of it not because personal and business tend to bleed in together uh, and we're always going through different things at different points in our career, but they're all in regular coaching sessions. None of them have taken the position of, you know what, I'm good, I'm out there all by myself, I don't need anything. Uh, no, sometimes they just need to hash it out. Uh-huh. Uh, they all work on site quite a bit, every day, all day long, no. No, but they kind of base their operations out of our office and they make an attempt to be in here and be interactive as often as their business allows. Huh. And the fourth observation that I had is, uh, I think I observed this about all five of them. They treat their business with a sense of priority. Like it's important, it's up, is it the most important thing in their lives? Uh, I don't think any of the five would, I mean, would say that it's the most important thing in their life. But then again, I don't really understand people that talk like that. Like how, it's like asking you which one of your children you love the most. I mean, it's just not a, it's just a dumb question. It doesn't make any sense. There, it has no answer to it. Uh, What's the highest priority in our lives? I don't know, that changes from moment to moment. I mean, I guess if you had to rank, force me at the point of a gun to rank things, I would of course put my family and my faith right up there at the top. But each day doesn't work like that. I don't have to choose between uh, my priorities at any given moment. And right now I'm at work, so work's the priority. What I observe about those top five is they treat their business with a high sense of priority. It's one of the important things in their lives. 
I, in contrast, was taking a look at our bottom 10 our bottom 10 in terms of production. And when I'm looking at this last night, I'm thinking, okay, so here's four things that I think our top five have in common. And I think those are things that all top agents have in common. Uh, they have a defined target audience. They're, they're in regular coaching sessions with someone. They work on site quite a bit and they treat their business with a high sense of priority. Mm -hmm. What do the bottom have in common? Uh, well, they work with anybody. Anybody that calls me, I'll work with anybody, anywhere. That's what I hear a lot from the people at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't, well, who's your target audience? Anybody that wants to buy a house. Uh-huh, okay. What's another observation? Uh, I never see them. If you're in that group, I never see you. You're at home. You're an island in the middle of the ocean all by yourself. Uh, they're never in coaching. They're never participating. They really don't know what's going on. I'm not sure that they really care a lot. They wouldn't mind something happening to them positive, but like I just don't have time for all that real estate stuff. Uh, my last observation for that group is and maybe it's the highest observation. Real estate just always comes in last in their life. Everything else comes ahead of their career. If somebody needs to be picked up at the airport, that's more important than anything they had to get done today. Everybody else's priorities rank ahead of their priorities. They're in last place all the time and their real estate business is definitely in last place. Not for that top five, no. See, radically different mindsets, radically different approaches to every day. Why are some agents killing it while others are really struggling? I don't think it's really that all that hard to fi figure out. I do agree with the old saying, success leaves clues. Look around, watch the people that are doing really well. There's no secrets there. They just go out and they make it happen for themselves every day.